far too much power. Like I said, auto tune bimple that sings. <laughs> I love I love Kanye mode. Kanye. Uh, <laughs> a lot of things happened last week with Kanye, didn't they? A lot of diamonds. Let's talk about the jewels. Bimple's gonna get some grills, so he can't he can't talk uh, good. Oh, the game is the finished installing. All right. All right, everyone. Time to get your spook on. Uh, in before I'm a Tantan says this game is not scary. I've heard much to the contrary. I've never played it myself, but I know it's pretty spooky and I've been wanting to play it. Um, so uh, it, it's supposed to be quite the scare. Hope, I hope you're all prepared. Turn this up a bit. Yes. So, oh, the, wait a minute, that's not right. Is the game not appearing correctly? Okay, I guess that's better. Hello, Dimethorn, this game is not scary. Well. You can't say that Bimple doesn't ha carry the uh, the torch of Prometheus, the the light of of uh, <laughs> prediction. Oh, never mind. It is scary. <laughs> oh no. All right. So you guys can hear the game right now, right? Pretty good. How how is how are the sound volumes? Like I said, new sound system right now, so I'm I'm kind of getting used to things. How does it sound? I just want to make sure I get the uh, the levels okay. Um, forgiving mode when dying, you drop a part of your equipment. Vibrating bimple. Oh, I guess I turned that on a bit too sensitive. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that shouldn't be happening. That's weird. Oh, I get it. It's because... Oh, man. All right. I might have to turn this off. Oh no, <laughs> no, Bimple is stretchy. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Reset. We're on, we're on classic uh, Bimple mode. Bimple got long for a bit, yeah. Um, so basically all of my audio is coming in via one like one sound source but this gives me uh, a bit more control over the sound so that i can you know i can turn the game down easily and i can turn myself up easily and i can turn you know it down for me but not you guys um but there do, it does come with compromises unfortunately uh, bouncy bimple might be one of those compromises Indiegogo content. Additional cool, but immersion breaking content. I don't know. I, let's say no for now. Big Bimple. You are playing a challenging and an unforgiving game. You will not be led by the hand. Respect the woods. Be patient. and Focus. Uh, if, if the um, Halloween overlay gets in the way, then I will... Turn it off. Um, so I, I was reviewing the footage of some of my old streams and I noticed that games came in very echoey. This may be a problem that people told me about, but I didn't actually understand how, why it was happening. Can y'all tell me how the game sounds today? Because I am, I'm going to be trying to fix this if I can. 
I, I think I have fixed it, but I see hatred and fear in the eyes. Overlay in the way my man got rhymes. If, as if I was responsible for the spreading disease. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. I have nowhere to hide from them, nowhere to run. The woods have closed us off from the outside world. We are all doomed. Okay, game is top down, but you didn't see that one coming. If you don't know, this game is called Darkwood and it is survival horror, maybe at its best, as I've heard. It's supposed to be absolutely nightmarish. Homemade device for producing moonshine. Pills. Pills here. Get your pills. All right. Yo, top down view. I can't, can I write in here? The generator is almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline out there. Locked. I think I left the key in the wardrobe. You can only select and interact with objects within your reach. The interaction range is indicated by the color changing cursor. The radio has been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. Did you know that this game was originally only on torrent sites? Then many people liked it and they moved it to, the, to other platforms. Did not know that. He... Why do these have a, um, red? I guess we're, we're just going for spooky, huh? Can I, like, auto? There we go. Shift. I best not enter this room right now. Kind of jarring how doors just like close automatically container the lock has jammed a long time ago never mind i used to keep useless junk in there anyway nice little bit of world building what was that i'd rather not open it i spent too much time to lock him in there okay this time they're empty Camera, my old Zenit camera. My medical bag. A photo of something. Who could tell you what that is? I can eat food. I left the key. If the cursor has a plus next to it, you can hold left mouse button to open the selected ob objects action menu. Barricade, use key. Um, I'm going to put a heavy content warning on this game, if you didn't know already. Um, and there will be killing dogs, I'm sorry. Large humanoid dog. Sorry, doll with a carved out face. 
My dog. I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. Pre press space to vault over obstacles like fences or windows. Did they charge for it or was it free? No, it was on torrent sites. I don't think they could um, charge for it. I can sprint. Pick up the axe. <laughs> Yo. With the weapon selected in your hotbar, hold right mouse button to take aim. Oh, I see. I have the pills selected right now. I love the sound design in this game. Why is that car 2D? What car? Uh, guys, if you don't like dog killing, uh, look away now. I'm sorry. Bear trap. Pick up. You're gonna love it even more. I love the look of this game. It's got a it's got a look to it already. Spooky. Hey Galen, how are you doing? What was that? Hello? The woods have devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. No one, huh? <laughs> Location found. Fallen tree. We have a map. Here's our map. Burned campfire. Got some stuff from this. Uh, I think my axe has durability. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. A merry spook em up day for everyone. Merry scare day. Get spooked. Notice how long it takes me to do like anything. Like, uh, pull out a torch, for instance. This looks like a giant hand. What is that? In a few days, it will be completely absorbed. There's a deer. That's nice. It looks like it's surrounded by bones in, like, a, some kind of pentagram. That looks like a deer with human legs. Am I wrong about that? I think this one is still breathing. Big metal key. If there's an exit out of these woods, this key will surely open it. He's only carrying a key in some journal. 
Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course he won't help me voluntarily. But that... is of no importance. I need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how and I will let you go. Sometimes I hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where is the exit? Where? Show me where. Yo, you're gonna kill him, my dude. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. Well, you won't get your answers then, will you? I was about to say, what's the betting we're going to be playing as this ca character now? That... Hold on a second. That nice man... Stole my key. <laughs> is this the person who is locked in the room? But I thought I hadn't grabbed that yet. Open it with a lock pick. I don't have any lock picks. Wire and rag. I'm hurt. I could use these rags to craft some bandages to heal myself. And a lock pick. Um, all right, are we putting this in our in the hot bar? I could use some more of that healing Unlocked An entry to a small cellar maybe the pantry It's heavy, but it has good reach The barricade is too strong to dismantle. The sound effects in this game are just really, really cool. Okay, we're gonna have to break the store, I think. The item is no longer usable. I need to repair it. Uh, I don't have the means. Radio. He was just, he was right there, the dude. I better not leave the house at night, it's safer here. Hmm. Wrong code. Who's there? Please let me out. Oh, different, different person, okay.
the lighting in this game is really well done. Syringe. Item found. I really don't want to waste the uh, shovel. I need wooden planks and nails to repair something. Oh, I think I can push this. Yeah, there we go. We have a generator. I don't know if I want to turn that on, to be honest. Got it. Fuels generator, highly combustible. Table leg. Very stale, sta uh, sturdy table leg. It's made out of oak. I can use it as a weapon. To refill the generator, equip the gasoline tank. Hover your cursor over the generator. Hold right mouse button, followed by left mouse button. It's a lot of buttons. See, my contention is, this is a bad idea. I don't think I would want to turn the light on. Four, eight, nine, two. What? Two. Got it. The door seems stuck. I need to apply some force. How, do, how does one do that? Help me. Come. Oh, God! Yeah, I won't lie, the game got me there a little bit. Plastic chick, a small plastic chick. What are you doing with that, sir? Put that chick down. <laughs> and how do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? Hear it. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to turn the Halloween, ironically, I'm going to turn the Halloween uh, overlay off, if y'all don't mind. I think it's actually spookier without it. So who are we now? Pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. 
It's the smell of the protective substance, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Examine the oven. When I arrived here a couple of days ago, the oven was basically prepared. Just needed to light it up to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting gas. The label on the bottle says, Staying out of the reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. Even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is recommended to stay in well-lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. A small, empty cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms, these red pulsating mushrooms, they look so tasty. Maybe this pot will prove useful after all. What are we doing here? Well, we're not doing much, because I don't have anything. Those red pulsating mushrooms? Are those the ones you refer? Because th those do not look tasty to me. Harvest. I, I muted the stream because I need to study JavaScript. <laughs> this is good. The generator is half empty. It contains enough gasoline for one more night. I should find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. Am I underground? I, I don't think I am. I think it's an entrance to the underground. My bad. Well, we don't have a code for that. Saw? Convert wood logs to planks. Oh god, it's CDDA all over again. You have zero, you need four to rebuild the well. Uh, the, apparently this pile of wood logs contains no logs. Yeah, I, I'll admit this game's already kind of got me. The road home. How to drink water. Bimple for an hour and a half. You're not wrong. You can't put a price on good sound design like that. I'm not sure what I should be doing right now. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same to the other window. We have a workbench. We can repair items here. We can upgrade items. We can upgrade the workbench. To do any of those things, I'm going to need some wood. We have some more mushrooms. Lovely sound the pulsating mushrooms makes. Got it. Got it.
Um, okay, so I need... I need to harvest three more mushrooms before I get a dose of whatever the heck that is. Um... Silent Forest. We're gonna have to go south if we want to get to the end, uh, underground entrance. I don't... I don't actually have a weapon right now. The best I've got is a torch. Melee weapons have a secondary attack. Try it out by pressing middle mouse button. Okay. Broken tractor. We got some gasoline, some scrap, a battery. Good stuff. So I'm not, I'm not close to the underground entrance yet. I appreciate that the map shows you where you are. Location found, underground entrance. Got some logs. Is that a bear trap? I got a bear trap. There's another bear trap. Oh, I almost got got by that bear trap. Lockpick, bread, gasoline, cigarettes, sort of matchpick, or matchstick, sorry. I'm hearing some mushrooms. Torch went out. I, um, can I make another one? I can, but it would cost me everything I have. Hey, bot. It is Halloween today. I need three boards. Can I chop down these trees, I wonder? I need an axe for that, I bet. What is that sound? Yeah, this game is really scary. I am kind of scared. So we can make a chain trap. Um, we can make a bear trap. I think. I need to upgrade my workshop to craft this. So no, I can't. I need it. If I could get another board, I could make a board with nails in it. Uh, let's make a bandage. Because I'll undoubtedly need that. 
I don't have a weapon right now, and that's actually really scary. <laughs> Can we repair an item? No, not really. One of the good atmospheric. Okay, well, I don't, I don't, I don't have enough mu mushrooms yet for whatever that is. Oh, I didn't mean to. Okay, I, I think I have to do the um, generator. Oh, you can do like a little dodge. Um, I'm not sure what I can really do right now, because I don't have the ability to make anything. Like, I don't have any weapons. So I'm just kind of completely naked right now. I have a lockpick. Maybe I can open something previously. Closed to me. Oh, here's some stuff. Mushroom book. The use of mushrooms in the household. So can I make uh, I can make it. No, I still can't make a torch. I have a bunch of scrap metal. <sighs> I feel like I'm going to have to go out again. To find something of use of like anything. There's some creatures over there. I think they're just dogs. Not that that's good. I know the dogs will hurt me for sure. Are those planks? Hey, there we go. Can't lock pick that. Uses up a little bit of fuel. Oh, it has it has fuel. Do I have to like refill it? Okay, there we go.
Okay, we are, we're, we're actually kind of getting somewhere now. We're going to make a uh, board with a nail in it. I just barely don't have enough to upgrade the workbench, but I don't think I should be doing that right now. I'll make a couple of uh, chain traps. I don't want to carry everything with me. Okay, we have a weapon now. Maybe I can... Um, I, I really don't think you're meant to be, like, killing everything in this game, so I don't really want to go and fight those dogs. Unless I have to. Old woods. So these are the old woods, silent forest, dry meadow. I don't know how long we have before it's nighttime. Yeah, I definitely don't want to go over there unless I have to. I'm sure I do have to, like I say, but... Oh, okay, it's definitely becoming nighttime. Must return to my hide hideout before nighttime, okay. How does one use the chain trap? Okay. Um, I'm also going to try and barricade some windows. Oh, I need my boards and nails. I don't have enough boards to um, barricade another window. I guess I can't sleep.
All right, guys. This is where we are for the next eight hours. I don't know if I can sleep. I guess I should hang out near the oven, actually. I don't have the means to make a torch. Man, people were not kidding when they said that this game is scary. <laughs> Can you imagine spending an entire night like this? What is that? I hear something. I think they're moving the desk. I don't want to move from the spot, and I'm not going to check on anything. At nights, you have worse problems than being unable to sleep. Jesus. Buy some candy for all the little humans. Take it easy. Candy. If, do you, did you turn your generator on? I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. I figured lights were actually, would actually be a bad thing. Why is, why is the music swelling? Day two. <laughs> what? Wolfman? Even from afar, I can smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses and meat. Figure hides its face under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost. If you help me attend to a certain matter, what do you say, comrade? As he leans towards me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. 
I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I've no time for weaklings meet. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. You think it's so easy? If I were you, I would prepare myself well before setting out. Also, if you hear knocking on your door, don't be afraid. The d Open the door. They brought gifts. That doesn't sound like good advice. When you get there, you will find me in this spot. Remember it. The wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. Plastic chick. Beautiful item. Perfect for a church fair. What's that you got there? The wolf snatches the photograph from my hand and studies it caref carefully. F not, finally, he snorts. His thick yellow spit landing on the photo. Ha! This road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees like all the other ones. The wolf throws the photo to the ground. Better forget about the road home, meat. Around here, all the roads lead to nowhere. I wouldn't recommend wandering around these woods at night. It would mean certain death for you, meat. Better hide in that hideout of yours before dark and pray for the morning light. I'm not kidding. I give good advice. Only you know me. Yeah, that's fair. All right. I'll trust you. We can buy some stuff. I buy weapons and ammo. So I could sell this. For what? <clears throat> A flashlight? Nope. Not even close. Handgun frame. All right, well, if you wish to spend some more quality time basking in the striking yet natural beauty of my features before you head off to the silent forest, you will find me in my camp in the dry meadow. I don't know what this is. Oh, well. I need boards. I'm wondering if I should, um... I don't know what that sound is, but I hate it. I'm assuming I can't get any closer than that without getting mauled. Nothing. Poisonous mushrooms. Wolf's camp, wolf's camp in the silent forest. Oh, okay. The way the screen shakes when you're uh, sprinting is really unsettling. Everything in this game is unsettling. I gotta, I gotta find some more stuff. I don't want to, like, necessarily fight these dogs.
I need more boards. Not sure if I should like explore this underground entrance a bit more. That was a good find. YouTube is really not pushing the stream. Had to go to Bimple's channel to even see it. Jeez. Oh, I didn't get these mushrooms. No room in inventory. Uh-oh. So I can go to the underground. Is it is this advised? <laughs> I'm assuming I'm gonna want light for this. Further part is shrouded in complete darkness. I need a light source to continue. Yeah, that makes sense. I need some. I need uh, to make some space in my inventory. I could make a torch to make a bit of room. I'm just wasting time right now. Bandages with alcohol. I don't have any room. I'm going to drop the stones for now. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. You are poisoned. Dang. I, I, I killed the mushrooms. Cookable rots over time. Okay, let's continue south a bit. What was that? I got tons of these mushrooms. Is that a rabbit? does not look like my subnautica it's not sub subnautica that's that's gonna be on thursday also you still got shadow band on that one kev bow Is it bear trap? But I don't think I have any more room. I really gotta dump some stuff off. Hey, Colin, how you doing? The 
assuming walking on these poison mushrooms will not be good for my health. Bimples cancelled. I cancelled Tuesday stream because of the fire alarm. What? Hello? Don't miss. I don't know what this... What is this? This looks kind of like a church. Don't step on any mushrooms, bro. The red ones are vital to survival, but they explode if you walk on them. Yeah, I, I just experienced that. I really didn't mean to step on them, but it happened anyway. Could open it with a lockpick. Let's do it. No room in inventory. What? Oh, it's raining. No, Tuesday's stream was canceled to, due to fire alarm. Just want to make sure people know that. Tuesday's stream was canceled. I didn't mean to do that. Well, at least I know how this works. Uh, am I screwed? Right now? Okay. I broke my trap. There's been a stream between last Tuesday and now. There was a stream on Thursday, yeah. You canceled last Thursday stream due to the fire alarm. I did sort of, but we had like mostly a full stream. Okay, so I just need two more mushrooms. And then I'm, I'm good on uh, whatever that is. Is there anything else I can leave here? Probably the other gasoline. Should should I be like wandering around outside while it's raining? I'm I'm honestly very lost on a lot of things in this game. I don't know what's like safe quotation marks. I didn't mean it ah uh. Did not mean to do that, so I just used up my pills. I guess I'll, um, throw down the, uh, the trap before I go to bed. Or, sorry, before night time descends upon us. Oh, 
I want to grab the rest of the stuff in that box. Wherever it was. Nothing is safe in Darkwood except for your safe house, and even then, during the night, it's not safe unless you have gas in the generator. I do have gas in the generator. Okay, so I do want to turn that on at night. I didn't turn it off. Sorry, I didn't turn it on last uh, night. So I feel like I survived only by pure luck. So... I need to find some more wood. I can smell your stench from far away, meat. I'd avoid getting in trouble if I were you, meat, or at least until you get a decent weapon. It's all about exploring it and scavenging to the max. You need a lot of wood, especially in the early game. The nail board will probably be your best and only means of self-defense at first. Um... I, where do I, where does one get wood? I know that's uh, a strange question to ask. I'm in a forest. But I am feeling um, a little bit unwooded right now. I I just think it's funny that I searched a pile of wood logs and found no wood. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Can be used as bait for carnivores, okay. I won't lie, this this game puts me completely on edge. Burned house. Okay. Getting kind of lucky with some of this combat. I, I understand that my, um, my nail, my board with the nail in it is almost broken. I need one more mushroom and then I can make whatever the thing is. One more. There it is. Wolfman is your typical Slavic weapons dealer. I got a ton of mushrooms just now. Some alcohol. Could really use some logs. Well, there's a board. That'll do me. OK. 
Okay, I don't have a uh, much weapon left, so I really cannot overextend myself. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bail on this for now. If I recall, you can repair an item at a workbench for cheaper than it takes to craft a new one. So um, if I if a oh uh, I'm I'm running out of time. If a weapon is almost or if it breaks, is it gone? Or can I repair it after it's broken? I'm thinking, oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very worried right now that I'm not going to make it back in time. Wait, where am I? Is the tractor? Okay, I made it. Time to turn the generator on. I really don't have the means to board up my windows right now. Weapons disappear once they lose all durability. Uh, I'm going to turn off this light. And this one too. Because I don't have... These, these uh, windows are not boarded up. And I don't think that they're actually going to serve me. I guess that's all my light, isn't it? Oh, man. Okay, so this this is uh, for upgrades. I'll be able to see farther once a day. I'll be able to heal myself by standing next to an electric light source. Once a day, I will be able to learn my lo current location on the map. I will be able to heal myself by eating mushrooms. These all seem very good. I feel like Sea Farther might be just straight up really good. Staying in, night in dark areas at night can be dangerous to me. Oh, I see. So I actually did like take a huge risk last night. I have to be in light. Okay, I will be able to see farther. Seems like a good one. I need to choose a negative perk. Oh. So this is like... This is not really great for me. <laughs> um... Okay. I'm going to try and repair my weapon. Okay, good. Wait, didn't I already have one? I'm going to stay over here. I don't really want to be seen by anything. <sighs> I 
So, uh, how do y'all feel about this game so far? Seems like most of uh, chat knows about it. I didn't think I was, like, tripping over a hidden gem or anything like that, but... Because it, it came highly recommended was why I decided to play it in the first place. Okay, I was told knocking at the door is a good thing. I'm not hearing anything. Invitation. We invite you to a celebration behind the cornfield in the southern edge of the dry meadow. 7957. God damn. It's the second time I've trapped myself in my own trap. Something lurking in the shadows. a little bit of um don't starve in this game what the hell is that honestly it is kind of a hidden gem as it feels like a lot of people what the hell is that Feels like not lots of people know about it. Never seen a game looks interesting, cool perspective. I'm actually like, to be honest, y'all, not the biggest horror game fan. Like they don't actually scare me as much as just stress me out. Okay, buddy. Ow. Is that a deer person? Okay, we made it through the night. So great for you to play them. Traitor. Oh my god, your face, my dude. A man roughly my size is standing before me. I can barely make out his disturbingly familiar features through the matte visor of his helmet. Is that a helmet? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I, I, I am understanding what I'm looking at now. That's actually really cool. The massive helmet is covered with an old sack and seems to be an integral part of the unnaturally pale body. I remember him. He's the one who rescued me from the doctor's house. The man reaches out to me with his black hand. It's covered in charcoal. There's something written on his worn woolen glove. We need to stick together, brother. His lips are moving, but all sounds are drowned inside the helmet. He shrugs, then takes this huge sack off his back and drops it on the ground, revealing its contents. Show item. Fo photo of a road. He wipes his left glove on his pants. 
takes out the charcoal from his pocket and starts scribbling. When he finishes, he lifts his head, dirty hand. All roads lead deeper into the woods. First Tales from the Borderlands was my favorite Telltale game, and it's definitely worth playing. That's what I've heard. So you're saying the new Tales of the Borderlands is not great? Rather watch certain content creators. Yeah, I know horror is a great resource for content creators, um, which is uh, definitely not not great for <laughs> for someone who's not a huge fan of playing them necessarily. I have been enjoying, I gotta say, most of the horror games I've played this month, which is you know why, uh, hence why uh, I'm a tan. Says they're not spooky. <laughs> So we have a hundred reputation with um, this person. He sells uh, quite a lot of stuff, but I imagine we can't really buy much of it. Uh, I could sell some meat. I don't think I want to sell anything. Wolf Among Us is the best Telltale game. Guys, what about Walking Dead? What about Walking Dead, guys? Don't you like Walking Dead? 6,000 seasons of Walking Dead. Okay. So I, I basically ruined all of my traps. Can we repair this? Yes, we can. Um, is it better to wear a weapon out before repairing it? I'm going to go ahead and disarm this. I'm, I can't be trusted to not ruin that thing. Just make another one. Uh, hey, Andrea Tixera, suddenly love The Walking Dead now. What happened? <laughs> I have to fix this well, but I need more wood. All right, let's check out some more of those burned um, houses, but also I have to check out the crop fields. I was sent an invitation to check out the crop fields. Where do I check out? Like, do I have a journal? Ah, here we go. Invitation. Behind the cornfield and the southern edge of the dry meadow. 7957. Walking Dead, do 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 do. First time on your stream, but you showed me my favorite game, Caves of Good. I'm I'm glad I could do that. Thank you for uh, checking out my stream. I hope I hope it will be entertaining. Apparently, uh, stress is a great form of content. more stuff here. I'm gonna go drop that off before I continue, and then try and drop off a bunch of us. New Tales is the cringiest game I saw in the last five years. Oh no. Not cringe. I can't. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely not gonna overuse this. What do you guys think? How long before Bimple overuses this magic? 
Oh, I should turn off the generator, huh? It's like running right now when it doesn't have to. Yeah. Cringe sounds fun, not gonna lie. Well, what kind of cringe? What kind of cringe are we talking about? There's many different kinds of cringe. There are many different flavors of cringe, you know? Uh, I'm gonna put some of this stuff in here. I, I know I need it on me, maybe, but it, it's just like better if I put it in here for now. I'll keep the flares on me, throw the battery in there, keep the meat. You never know when you're gonna need some meat. You would never use... <laughs> I would never overuse something like this. Sorry, let me let me do that probably. This, this is... is, 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 is. I just realized echo just increases the volume of the echo. It doesn't actually like add more echo. Meat. Uh oh. <gasps> Bear trap. What? What? Oh my god! Jesus, that scared me. I need a lockpick. Where am I? I'm almost at the burn houses. Okay. Moose! Not in a fun, cringe way. They should have named that game Tales from a Frogurt Shot. Takes place in a Frogurt shop where characters spew cringy dialogue. Hey, Andre. Wait, Andre? Also, hey guys. I want to I show you something. Wait, that's not the right button. What button is it? People's got a voice now. People 2.0. Yay! Pretty good, huh? Red seesaw. <gasps> Mushrooms. Why would I want to barricade these windows? Okay, I'm not sure if there's much else. Broken tree. Can we get some... 
Can we get some wood from this tree? Should not have eaten those mushrooms for dinner. Got another moose. No moose. Please. Definitely not going to fight a moose. What do we got here? Something good? Oh. Kind of running out of a uh, weapon. Okay, this is not a this is not a place of joy. Is this not the wedding? I'm here. Yeah, I'm I'm here for sure. This is dark hood bimple, it's never good. Okay, I'll have to check that out later, maybe when I have a better light source, like a torch. I did have a um a flashlight. I'm not sure where that is. I think that's in that stupid crate that I'll, I'll never find again. So I'm pretty sure if I'm not careful, I might find myself in the silent forest. Oh yeah. Um, did he go to the wedding? I did go to the wedding, but I didn't walk in because it seems like not a good place. I need a, I need a torchlight. And I really don't, I don't have one right now. This time I'm prepared for does little demon in monster costumes that knock on doors asking for candy. What kind of candy did you buy? Um, sorry I have to keep repeatedly checking the map, but I really am just bad at, you know, Figuring out where I am. I'm, I'm really trying to find any resources, but it, the place is kind of spent. Can I make a lockpick? I need two wire. I have zero. Can I mark this on the map? I guess this is near the underground entrance. Okay, it's on the south side of the underground entrance. I'm going to make a note of that. South side of the underground entrance. I have a little note taker now. Check this out. South side of the underground entrance. There you go. Check that out. That's pretty good. Because, you know, Bimple... Oh, no. Bimple walked on poison. Oh, there's that moose again. Bimple's got a really god awful memory, so I need I need a, I need a secretary, you know. It's 
This is our wolfman camp again. Is there nothing else in this chunk of the forest that I can use? Because I, I feel like I'm like almost out of resources. There really aren't a lot to speak of. Moose? Some kind of dead animal. Bought some chocolates that resemble different monsters from popular movies. Guys, what happens when you die in this game? Just curious. Like, do you get set back to the day or do, is it like game over? Here we go. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with that. Uh, with the stone, if I'm being honest. I need to drop something. Let's eat some bread. What does that do? Your lungs are more efficient. I'm assuming I don't want to eat the other one. Kind of, I kind of need, um, wood more than I need a tire. So I'm going to take the wood. I'm sure I'm going to find out later how important that tire is. Do I have do I have scrap metal? I do have scrap metal, so I can I can disarm this bear trap. So where am I? I must be kind of getting close to the old woods, which I assume I do not want to be anywhere near. Burned house. More mushrooms. Can I do I have storage for that? I do. Uh, I really need to get a torch. I need a key. Every time I walk into anything dark, um, my dude is starts to lose his mind. If you die at night time, you won't get rep with the trader. Rep is currency. If you die at day, monsters you killed you, you killed respawn, and you might drop items. But you do respawn either way. So it sounds to me like there is a bit of forgiveness. This is not a roguelike. I'm kind of getting used to the uh, the feeling of this game a bit. Oh, we need to make planks. I think it's uh, becoming nighttime right now. All right, I'm going to board up some windows. I'm also going to make some traps. Um, also, we're going to repair our plank. 
Upgrade item. Hardened? You need more scrap. More nails. Late materials. So we can upgrade our, our crappy weapon. Oh, I have to uh, turn on the generator. Crap, I forgot to turn on the generator. I'm assuming that they can just, like, destroy the generator if they want to. I need more nails. Uh, I really don't have any time right now. Okay, that's that. Let's cook our mushrooms. So this time I need 15 mushrooms to get our next upgrade. So that's, that's a much heavier toll. Do hope that we'll see more Spectral Mall past October. There are a couple of amazing games still up there. Honestly, I don't know how much of this game I can do today. I did intend to play the, through as much as possible, but we could do some Spectral Mall today. I mean, that's still pretty Halloween. I'm down for that. And honestly, I think Spectral Mall would be less stressful for me than this. I'm going to go, I'm going to do this a little bit. I'm just going to chain up this room so that I don't have to worry too much. There's also that bookcase. Has anyone played Pillars of Eternity, and is it as good as everyone says? I've played it, Kevbo, and I'll, I'll be honest, I don't think that you would like it. Um, I played it, it was a, it was recommended to me, um, by one of the coffee supporters, which, by the way, thank you very much for supporting the coffee. Definitely hit that up. Link in the description. <laughs> Link is not in the description, but I don't, uh, I don't want to put it there right now. Um, yeah, I actually started doing a series on Pillars of Eternity, and I kind of liked it at first, and I like some of the, like, it has very deep kind of, like, spells and magic and stuff, but I found it to be kind of exhausting. It's got this, I want to go home. <laughs> what? It's got this weird problem, um, where... You can find yourself in combats that you're definitely, like, not prepared for. Um, and, uh, like, you can either bash your head against a combat that just, you know, you're not ready for, or you have to f go and find another combat that you are, like, clearly equipped to dealing with. I don't know if you've played Divinity Original Sin, uh, Kevbo, but it's kind of like that a little bit. Like, I like Divinity Original Sin, but it's got this issue where, like, if you don't know which combats you're able to do at first, then you'll just get wailed on in every single combat. Except I don't really find the uh, combat in Pillars of Eternity to be particularly interesting. But I like Planescape Torment. 
and Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale. Do you like those games because of the story? Because I, I didn't find the story to be particularly interesting in uh, Pillars of Eternity, if I'm being honest. Um, I do really like Solasta. It's a little bit of a different game. I kind of want to do a, a some kind of video on it on Solasta. <gasps> oh God! Oh God! Wow, that hurt. Jesus! Pillars of Eternity is on sale right now. I've heard very good things about, was it Pillars of Eternity, White Witch? As I approach him, the man drops the sack from his back to the floor with a visible relief. I notice a smile on his face through the matte visor of his helmet. The man nods in greeting. So I've gotten more reputation with him. Oh, I would really love to buy this axe blade. Or even the shovel blade. I could buy some boards. I can sell this shiny stone. How much... Okay, if I bought this axe blade, I need to I need to give him 90, 90 more things. This is a, these pills are worth thirty. As are these flares. Flares might be worth it. Might tr might be worth trading the flares. I sell him all the meat. I'm almost there. Value three, value one. Alcohol is worth 15. We could do one alcohol and then I would be able to buy an axe blade. What do y'all think? I feel like that's worth it. Axe could be really good. But then again, I don't know, like I'd have to make the axe, right? How does one make the axe? This guy is because almost no one connects the dots at first. This guy is a mushroom copy of yourself. He's a mushroom copy of yourself? What does that mean? I'm gonna- I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna see what- what does it take to make a, um... an axe.
Uh, it looks like I don't even know how to make the work the uh, the axe, so I'm gonna need to upgrade the workstation maybe. This forest makes mushroom copies of people and animals. Huh. Um, I could buy some... I could buy some boards and nails. I do want, let's make a torch. I'm gonna check out the underground. How about that? Did I waste my money on this axe blade? I feel like I did a little bit. This is uh, this is my problem. Is I, I don't necessarily know the correct way to progress sometimes. All right, we're going to go we're going to go to the underground. We'll see how this goes. Probably very badly. So, is the um was the invitation to a wedding behind the cornfield in the southern edge? Yeah, okay. So the invitation was to go to the wedding. Do you think I could do that? Or am I not nearly ready for something like that? Here's my stones. Nice that the, the things stay where they are. So we already got some stuff. Motorcycle magazine. Nice. Some boards, some batteries. This is all, already highly worth it. Thick wooden posts barely hold the soaked ground and tangled roots. The construction seems on the verge of collapse. Okay, yeah. Yo, are we about to get scorned? We're gonna get like a parasite on our back. Mushrooms. I like that the mushrooms make themselves known, like, instantly. Armored door. It's my only way out. I won't be able to open it without my key. Look at the handle. The hatch handle is covered in a thick layer of dust. It hasn't been opened for the, at least two weeks. Press your ear against the keyhole. I can hear a faint voice throughout the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to be coming through the, the keyhole. Someone is calling me. Uh, look through the keyhole. Locked. It's my only way out. Does that mean Bimple will become a mushroom man? Do you know the Mushroom Man, the Mushroom Man, the Mushroom Man? Oh. 
I cannot see. I stepped in poison. Something is chasing me right now. Oh God! Leave. We are leaving. I The thing took my blow like it was nothing. Oh, God. So, what the heck was that thing? That thing, uh, did not resonate with joy. I'm gonna check out the wedding. Oh, God. Come here, buddy. Oh, God. I'm, I'm not okay right now. Pill time. Uh, I think the pills just help me with my lung capacity so I can I can run for longer. They look like the creatures from Stranger Things. You're not wrong. It did have a bit of a stranger. A bit of a demigorgon vibe. I'm gonna equip my meat so that maybe carnivores are not as much of a threat to me. I wanna, I do kind of want to check out this invitation. This may be a mistake, might get me killed, but I, I kind of, I, I do want to take some risks. Okay. Uh, I don't think I want to disturb that thing, whatever it is. They seem to be enjoying themselves. I got some rope. Okay, I have I have the um the code here. Hold on a second. Uh seven nine five seven. Seven nine five seven. 
Got some stuff. My inventory is full. Potato sacks. Door seems to be jammed. No room in inventory. Okay, there's... Clearly stuff I'm gonna want to come back for. I'm hoping that pig is not dangerous. Overgrown with the bunches of thin roots. Got a steering wheel. Um, again, I'm I guess I'm going to drop the stones for now. How does Bimple heal? He looks like he's going to die. Is Stranger Things any good? I, but, to be honest, I feel like you won't like it because, um, uh, you know, I, I don't think you will think it lives up to the hype. Is there anything cool over here? What is that? I, uh, I'll say this. I really like Stranger Things. I think season one and two are good. Um, I think season three is kind of a miss. And I think season four is amazing. And, like, really made the whole thing worth it. Um, those are my thoughts on it. I, I really enjoyed it. Quite gory and scary. Eh. It's, it's very much on the light side of horror. There's some horror elements in it, and there is some gore for sure, but for anyone who's like looking for some kind of horror fest, it's going to feel tame. Um... And I think for, you know, someone looking for just a friendly spook, <clears throat> we'll find uh, good company in Stranger Things. Hoping to get back um, without having to fight anything else. And then I can bandage myself. I guess we could throw this meat. If something else attacks me. I did get some information. Um, which is good. Kind of about the long-term goals. I have to imagine that opening up that door is what I need to do. To, like, really progress. It seems to me that there are, um... The, the game is kind of get, offering me parts of a car. Like a, uh, a tire. A steering wheel. You're just sensitive with that kind of content? Oh yeah, no, no worries. I miss these. No judgment. Oh, did I leave the generator on again? Damn it. It's been on all day. Ugh, a little bit too late on that one. I super just wasted a bunch of uh, gas. That's my bad. I have more, but 
you know, that stuff is not unlimited. I do have... Do I have enough parts to upgrade my board with a nail? Uh, oh, I need a metal bar or pipe. I, I could have bought that instead of the axe head. Um, I don't think I don't have enough to upgrade this, um, the workbench, right? No, I need more nails. Uh, things are not really going well right now. But at least I'm alive. I need the gas. I didn't pick up the gas. Um, I'm gonna also make some bandages. Okay, we have recovered our health. I'm also going to have to re repair our um, weapon. You like Lovecrafty and inspired? I don't know if Stranger Things is Lovecrafty and inspired, I'll be honest. I guess so. It certainly has a vibe to it, but I don't, like, there's n literally no reference to any kind of, you know, there's no, there's nothing to, to kind of connect the, connect you to, to any kind of Cthulhu or, or Lovecraftian lore. Um, so you could just kind of, you know, like, supposed in your head, like, headcanon it. Uh, and that would work. I really want to find that crate. There's a crate in the forest that had a... I, I believe it had a torch in it, actually. Oh, we have a bear trap. That's good. Feels more Stephen King than Lovecraft? It absolutely does. That's a, a very good summary of it. So there's a crate somewhere in the forest here that I tripped over by accident. And of course, I'm never going to find it again. And I couldn't take the items in it because my inventory was full. Oh, there's a corpse. Hey, a nail. I'll take it. I don't think I have enough time to check out anything else. So, um, if you guys didn't see, I did a post. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, this is what I need to lockpick for. I don't have any lockpicks. I did a post talking about what kind of, uh... Oh, God. Talking about, uh, what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I'm gonna be focusing a lot more on quality over quantity for the coming months. And this is going to mean a lot less series for me and more like more focus on spotlights and let's plays. Um, but I also want to stream more, so I'm going to be moving to two streams a week. So Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to become more permanent because, you know, I I've been enjoying it and uh, I hope that y'all are as well. I got to get back. I think the day is waning. Oh my god. I can't believe I didn't find this. 
Oh, look at all the wood we just got. Even more wood. Oh my god, I can upgrade the workbench. How did I not find this? Um, so I'm thinking I might continue Darkwood maybe after I finish, like, Subnautica. Because I, you know, I didn't know how much of this I was going to enjoy. Because it, it, I knew it was going to be a spooky game. But, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking this. And it doesn't, it's not as, like, stressful as I thought it was going to be. It's still, it's still pretty stressful, but, you know. Oh, you know what? Let's chop those logs before I, uh... Okay, I have... I have no... We'll just leave those logs in there for now. I need to... I need to sacrifice a little bit of fuel for the sake of making some planks. Whatever works, enters this thing, see what you do. I, I appreciate that. Um, I have, uh, I haven't really been, like, super pleased with, I, I've been, I've been vocal about this, but I haven't been very pleased with, like, the progression of things, you know, for the channel. Um, so I'm going to be focusing on, on trying to make things a little bit higher quality. Uh, and then, you know, make, make videos something that people would, like, go out of their way to watch, you know be more interested in seeing. Makes sense, you know, make make your content better. Let's upgrade the workbench. So we can make a single shot pistol. Um, how, how do I make the axe? I have this axe blade and I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Uh, I'm a 10. Can you tell me... Oh, I can upgrade my board now. Oh, I just... Oh, God. Damn it. I just used up the scrap for a bear trap. Um, I'm a 10. Can you tell me if I uh, disassemble a trap, do I get the same amount of scrap back or is there a loss? A sloppy and slippery slope. True. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some meat down. Not sure if this is how what you're meant to do. I have no clue, but thanks for waking me up. No worries. <laughs> so I guess I understand now, um, but you're saying that, that the forest makes, uh, mushroom versions of people is that why this like cooking stove kind of abates them a little bit oh what the hell that was creepy Oh God.
So I only get one scrap metal back from, from a used bear trap. Man, that this hole here sucks. They can just like push that wardrobe right right by. At least it was a good call on the on the bear trap. Dogs. Nice. Day five. Oh. <sighs> Do I have anything? No, nothing else to show them. Um, so I could use this metal pipe. And, uh, probably something else I needed. Can't remember what. Torch would be nice. Odd looking glowing mushroom. Cookable glows in the dark, rots over time. Rags. A wire would be nice. I'll buy a couple. Actually, I don't need boards as much right now. Gasoline could be good. Um. I'm just going to buy one scrap. This is this is fine. Things are I'm, I'm kind of amazed by how well things are going right now. Okay, upgrade board with nails hardened. Okay, it is now hardened. I'm going to repair it. could give it more nails, but I need more nails. What could I give up? I could trade something for some nails. Maybe a battery? Let's make a lockpick. Uh, there is a crate in the forest that I need a lockpick for. Bimple, make sure you buy these nuts. <laughs> Yo, got him. <laughs> Um, nails are not a expensive ask. Stones are not worth anything. Matchsticks are kind of. Um. 
All right, I'm buying a bunch of nails and I'm going to upgrade the board with the nail with more nails. Can you craft a... <laughs> Yo, he's, the chat is having a good time, I, I think. Um, all right. So upgrade board with a nail, more nails. There's no room for upgrades. I need to upgrade my workbench. How does, how much does that cost now? You need, um, something that I don't know what it is. I think maybe that's weapon parts. I think, uh, this lad had that. Um, no, that's this. I need, I think I need a tool bench or tool chest. How did that man read my comments? <laughs> okay, well, at least I have durability. That should be okay. What is this? Time freeze. Okay, I've got the lock pick. And um, I'm going to keep the stones here for now. I don't know what the matchsticks are for. I'm going to need the gasoline to refill the saw. Still laughing that he actually read my comment out loud. <laughs> Okay. So we have tons of planks now. I don't think I need any more planks for a while. I'm going to do, um, guys, I'm going to do one more day and then we can switch to something else. I'm also going to need to refill the generator. Also, I'm going to need to remember to turn the generator off so I don't waste any more fuel. Wait, there's this container here? Oh. Don't know what that requires. Oh, is this empty? Oh, whoops, I was pressing the wrong button. Just throw the rest of the gasoline in there. I am really going to need some more gasoline very soon. Okay, let's check out the place up top. North. Do I have a torch? I don't. I do have a flare back in the house, so we could use a flare. Do you have winter over there too? Here we go, torch time. I have a question about literature. Why the hell is Google saying that perfectionism is pronounced like this abomination? Perfectionism. Is it not? Oh, another bear trap. This is a very good thing I found. That seems correct. It does seem correct. Okay, we're going to check out this wonderful place. I need a key. 
Oh, we found some gasoline and nails. And I stepped in mushrooms. Very good. Why is the E upside down? That, uh, that is supposed to indicate what form the E is taking, because an E could be an E, an E, uh, an E, an E, an E, an E, an E, could be a E, could be a E, could be a Wow, uh, the weapon does not seem all that much more, like, durable. <laughs> this has got to be worth it. Hey, hey, I gave you meat. Okay, I was kind of hoping not to have to kill all of them. But I did have to kill all of them. Got an empty bottle. Got some rags. This isn't going to be worth it, is it? Oh good, meat. That's to differentiate the sound, same as when an E has an accent. So this was highly not worth it, to be honest. We got rid of winter time, probably because there is this. How did that not get shadow banned? Can I can I combine these two things? Yes, I can. Save a little bit of inventory space. Actually, how much inventory space do I have right now? Not a lot. There's still a couple things. You guys didn't tell me I was in pog mode. <laughs> I was in pog mode that whole time. The hell was that sound? Okay, we don't... We don't want to mess with that. <sighs> um... We're at the shrine. Got some mushrooms. Tons of mushrooms here.
as you play this game, you do feel a little bit more bold, you know, like... I am- I am starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with the dread. I know- I know that I already came down here, I already did the invitation, but there's stuff I left behind. So am I am I supposed to be finding something, uh, or am I just supposed to be surviving a certain number of days? I've been kicking the entire time. You only just noticed now. Really don't want to mess with that. Um, that person there. I guess I let the um, generator die, didn't I? Look at all this stuff in here I didn't collect, and I still can't collect it. Damn. I'm gonna have to drop my stones again. These are consumable and they heal. Too strong to dismantle. Can't. Can't break in the window. The goal is to explore each area as much as you can, which will allow you to progress in the story and in the game world. Okay. I am, I think I am doing that pretty, pretty well. As well as I can. All has been funny for me because the hot and cold keep alternating, so when there's a good day, you know it is good to either get really hot or really cold. The good days are lasting longer. Um... I don't know how many more places there are that I can explore. Certainly I don't want to mess with a moose. Oh, there's a bear trap though. There's another bear trap. Location found brook. Torch went out. We're going to need another one of those.
some good stuff in here, I bet. I guarantee you the vast majority of kids would know what the E in Pokemon stands for sounds like rather than a 7 with a tiny 3 after it in math. Yeah, we have a generator. Not exactly sure what that's supposed to do for us. Oh god! I thought maybe turning on the generator would, like, give us a clue. Hmm. I bet you I have a, a bunch of reputation with the, the wolf man that I can use. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this brook. I don't know if I've already, like, used up its relevancy. We got more meese. Not not mice, meese. Meeses. Hello, wolf man. How are you doing? Show item. Invitation. An invitation to a wedding party. Snorts with laughter, his putrid saliva landing on my face. It's an invitation to that house in the southern edge of the dry meadow. The music there has been playing nonstop since I remember day and night. A never-ending wedding. The stuff that appears on your map is just indicating that you're in a new sec sector of a map. It's mostly there to help you navigate since the game's map is purposely vague. Have fun, meat. Just remember to hide that disaster of a face or it's no dancing for you. I only have 50 reputation with him. Wow. I figured I'd have a bit more. But I guess it's only the uh, mushroom trader that gains reputation when I uh, survive. So there's, I don't know when, I don't think I want to get to go to the silent forest unless I have some really good stuff. Ooh, another, uh, bear trap. I sense the night time is coming soon. Hey, Norf, how you doing? What 
we playing? This is uh, Darkwood. It's spooky. It's scary. Um, I'm I'm enjoying it. It's uh, definitely very atmospheric. Uh, trying to figure out what, what I'm supposed to do next as if there is a plan. There isn't really a plan. I'm going to put my meat in this container. I'm going to cook my mushrooms. It's harder to gain rep with Wolfman because he has the weapons. Happy Halloween, Cory. Playing through Autonauts again because they finally did that quality of life patch. Yeah, I noticed that. I'm I'm kind of I was kind of I'm kind of tempted to jump back into that. I don't know in what context though. I rarely play the games for myself for myself these days. Okay, we're gonna want to repair our board with a nail in it. That thing is still upgraded, right? Like repairing it doesn't undo that. Uh, I guess I'm going to make a, another bear trap. I don't know if I should. But I will. I guess I, I should grab my meat. No, I already have some meat. Never mind. How is it? How is the, uh, the quality of life update? Has it been any good? I, I did actually play... Um, Autonauts versus the pirate bots. And it was alright, but it just felt like Autonauts again with combat. With like an RTS feature. I, I enjoyed it, but... Um, I should grab my meat. Big simple. I was wrong though, because I was strongly implied that it was objective instead of subjective. I was wrong. Grab this and move it away. Let's let's move it here. Oh no, actually I kinda like it. Like in this area. Give myself light on both sides. It's about the same as it was. There is some interesting stuff. It was pretty good before. The one thing that is uh, interesting to me is um, having, like, global blue blueprint range. So you can just, like, copy and paste blueprints or, um, like, brains into bots without having to mess with floppy disks. I also like some of the um, world generation options. Like, when you start the game, it's like, you don't have to mess around with, uh, like, cranking your robots, which I kind of like. I heard something. Bot database upgrades are pretty nice, and signs, billboards are useful too. I think this will be the last day everyone on uh, Darkwood and then I might switch to Spectral Mall. No recharge is nice though. With signs I made a pretty clever system of recharge bots. The problem with recharge bots is I don't know if there was an eg elegant solution that um didn't eventually you didn't eventually run into problems of like bots dying because everyone died at the same time unless you just like completely flooded your base with re recharge bots turning it off like turns off that whole level of trying to automate okay
I don't like that sound. Hello? Who's there? <gasps> the dog set off the bear trap. I needed that bear trap. I think that was it. That was a uncharacteristically tame. Nice. Gained reputation. What do we need? Tubular magazine. Handgun frame. I can't afford that for a long time. I'm wondering if I could, like, buy a handgun. No, that doesn't make sense. Um... Should just buy some gasoline. An ordinary chicken egg. The only difference being that it's red. I guess I could just hold off for now. But either way, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here for de uh, Darkwood. I like this game a lot. It is actually very atmospheric. It's also very spooky. Um. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. The dead charger bot always had a bot scanning to charge it. Make all of my original crappy bots the chargers. Four of them would carry signs around and check specific areas. The rest of them... The, the rest of the dead charger bot always had a bot scanning to charge it. Also another crafting harvesting game called Stardius, still in early access that I checked out. Quite liked, though it doesn't feel very complete in its EA status. Um, I was gonna say, let you know, uh, Narf, the, um, if you haven't tried it, Cosmo tier is, is really fun. Although it might be, it's a little less automation and a little bit more space sandbox. I don't know how into space sandboxes you, uh, you you trend but like it has automation in it the way you construct your spaceships is you kind of have to like make sure that it, it's almost a little bit colony sim like like stardius or um what's the game called 